My name is Guo Hong from China North Nuclear Fuel Corporation. And uh, today my topic is uh, research and uh, development of thorium fuel for can do six reactors in bottle. The first is the uh, generation introduction. My company has uh, developed and uh, produced many kinds of uh, uranium based fuels for research and uh, test reactor and uh, power reactor. Now we have uh, two power reactor nu nuclear fuel produce lines. Uh, it's for Kendo 6 reactor and uh, another for Alpha 3G reactors. Now we still have two other lines on the construction. One is for AP uh, 1000 reactor and another is for high temperature gas cooled uh, reactor. After 50 years of construction and uh, development, our company has established a, a compl complete system for nuclear fuel element research and uh, production. Now we have a specialized nuclear fuel research center and we have uh, advanced process equipment for chemical engineering, engineering, metallurgy, machine welding, and uh, uh, radiation protection, and so on. Uh, in addition, we still have Enterprise Technology Center, Institute of Metallurgy, and uh, Physical and Chemical Inspection Center. About uh, thorium resources, the China uh, is abundant. It, its relevance ranked second in the world. And in bottle, uh, its relevance is about 20% of the national proven. About uh, thorium utilization, my company researched and uh, developed it, uh, later in the 20th century. We have done some basic research works. And uh, from 2007, we started again to research and uh, develop thorium based fuel. 2008 July, our company and the uh, Bottle Science and Technology Bureau signed a contract to develop thorium based fuel element for heavy water reactor. 2009 June, the application on building up a research and engineering center for thorium fuel at the CNFC past the evaluation organized by Intermocular Science and the Technology Bureau. 2009, July, our company, TICO NPC, NPIC, and the AECL for partners signed the advanced can do field development and the demonstration field to agreement. Our company is responsible to develop, fabricate, and uh, sp supply to thorium dioxide bundles. The content uh, agreement includes two phases. The first phase has finished. Now we carry on the phase two. Our company's aim is to develop the commercial manufacturing technology for thorium based fuel and uh, to develop the all kinds of uh, thorium based fuel for different reactors gradually. And finally, uh, is to build up a research and a fabrication center for thorium based fuel in China. Second is the powder preparation. Thorium oxalate uh, raw material through Kornstein uh, dissolve, extraction, precipitation, filter, uh, washing, drying, and uh, calcine, will get uh, nuclear grade thorium dioxide powder. In this process, in this process, the six process steps should be coordinated. First is the calcination process of raw material. 
the temperature and the holding time is the key parameters. With the, with the temperature increase, the powder obtained uh, dissolution rate increases. But uh, if temperature is too high, uh, the powder will agglomerate and the dissolution rate decreases. Our, our studies show that uh, 600 degree is suitable for dissolution. About holding time with decreasing ox sodium oxalate the compound is completely and the dissolution rate of powder increases. But if the time increases further, dissolution rate couldn't grow. It is certain that 600 degree and uh, three hours is suitable for dissolution. Second is the dissolution process. Uh, the route to have soon under the same conditions, concentrated nitric acid content increases. The solubility of powder is enhanced. And when dissolution temperature and time increase, solubility changes similarly. So many experiments now we have determined optimum process conditions for these four factors. They are content of the concentrated nitric acid, dissolution time, uh, dissolution temperature, the time, and the uh, hydrofluoric acid content. The third is the precipitation process of uh, sodium oxalate. Using sodium nitrate solution as a raw liquid, we adjust uh, the pH value of uh, solution by ammonia. This process can remove various impurity effectively. Fourth is the extraction, extraction purification process. Now, the single stage extraction purification experiment of sodium nitrate was carried out. The third phase was well controlled during extraction, and the serum was separated with the serum. The fifth, oxalate precipitation process. The solution treated by extraction stripping process should be preceded by oxalate in order to achieve the purpose of the further purification. In the process, the influence of the temperature is most important. Studies show that when temperature is 50 to 90 degree, sedimentation and uh, purification will go well. Six, the calcination process of uh, sodium oxalate. In order to obtain sodium dioxide powder, sodium oxalate should go through calcination. Up to now, the optimal calcination parameters have been determined. This picture is the nuclear grade sodium dioxide powder. About uh, powder preparation technology, the present situation is the purity of powder can be less than 99.9%. Sodium nitrate extraction solutions should be treated by 5% TBP, kerosene, used for extraction, in order to achieve separation uridium and uh, sodium. Sodium dioxide powder preparation pilot had been carried out, and then the powder can meet the specification requirements. In the calcination state, including quite, uh, in traction, grading, and uh, nitrogen protection steps can be effective in removing water crystallization. Next is about uh, pellet fabrication. First is the granulation process of the powder. The powder should be granulated, improve the particle density and the mobility. And uh, the granulation process includes preloaded cake, crossing, and the screen. From the chart, we can see the granulate rate increases rapidly with the 
pressure increasing. But as the pressure increase further, there is a certain degree of drop. Based on the result, we select 85 as the pressure for granulation. Second is the forming pressure of a green pellet. Thorium ox ox uh, dioxide green pellet are fabricated by the traditional molding process. The lubricant is a zinc steroid mixed with the carbon tetrachloride. During the molding process, by direction pressing was used to improve the uniformity of a green pellet and it can also reduce grinding amount of a centered samples. The important parameters that affect uh, the grease is the forming pressure. With the pressure rising, the green density increases. When molding pressure is uh, 150, the magnitude of the increase of the green density decreases. In addition to forming pressure, holding time is also an important factor. In experiment, we select uh, 300 as the forming pressure in order to investigate the effect of the holding time. From chart, we can find green density are extended as the dwelling time increase. When holding time run to 20 seconds, the growth rate is reduced. That is, holding 20 seconds is enough to obtain higher green density. Three, is the sintering process of pellets. First, we chew the crucible materials. We chew we graphite and uh, aluminum crucible respectively. The former lined with uh, more lipidum and uh, tungsten respectively, and uh, the later lined with, with this powder. The experiment results show the graphite uh, crucial uh, samples surface will darken, but uh, the aluminum crystal, uh, the samples surface is smooth and uh, the sample is translucent. Second, we study the green density effect. As the green density increases, there are great degree uh, will increase in the density of the sample, and the radio shrinkage and the vertical shrinkage decrease. About the sintering temperature, uh, we selected five green density and uh, sintered them at five temperature respectively for four hours. The, the follow, the follow chart is the sintering process. And uh, from the right chart, we can find with the time and the green density increase, the relative uh, density is uh, increased. This picture is the pore morphology of a sintered pellet. We can see as the sintering temperature increase, the pore size uh, grows down and the uh, pores distribute more uniformly. We study the effect of a powder surface area. We choose three kinds of powder. The result shows the surface area greater, the relative density of a sintered pellet higher. This picture is the uh, uh, is the microstructure of the pellet. With the, uh, the left one, is, its uh, average uh, green size is uh, 2. The middle one is uh, 4 to 20. The right, its uh, average size is up to 15. The fourth is about physical and the chemical analysis. In 29, uh, to 2008, we have to establish 12 methods of uh, chemical analysis on 48 uh, elements, such as ICP mass, 
ICP, AES, IAS, uh, and so on. By the end of 2010, we have established an optimized method of physical and chemical analysis for thorium dioxide pilot. The fourth is radiation protection. From 2008, we have to get a lot of information about radiation protection of thorium, including thorium radiation characters, toxicology and uh, environment behaviors, elementary method of radiation protection, me means for emergency and fluid to push, and uh, started to set up the measure how to monitor and calculate the pushing exposure dose environmental impact and uh, displaying the thorium waste during thorium-based uh, fuel manufacturing process. And uh, by the end of uh, 2010, uh, the established and uh, optimization of measures for radiation protection had been finished. So uh, about the experiment, the thorium chemical test line had been equipped with dry and uh, cash nascent system, dissolution field system, and uh, the water uh, treat system. Using it, we can carry out small scale chemical experiments and have the ability to conduct medium scale chemical experiments and the products. Thorium pilot test line is equipped with mixing system, powder gradually system, pressing system, and uh, plate sintering system. The powder purifi purity greater than 99.9% .9 and uh, the pellet relative density greater than 95% TD has been manufactured. The appropriate method for physical and uh, chemical analysis has been established related to power and pellets. And uh, radiation protection has been monitored and uh, studied. Two lines above not only can carry out uh, process tests, but also have certain production capacity. Combining the fabrication capacity uh, for few elements of power or research reactors, our company already had a certain capacity for large-scale production of thorium fuel. In addition, the relatively com complete nuclear fuel research and uh, production system in our company can provide a technical platform for research and develop thorium fuel. So we sincerely hope to carry out extensive exchange and cooperation home and abroad in order to make some substantial progress in the field of storm resources utilization. Oh, thanks. Great. Thank you for this uh, very nice presentation. I just wanted to quickly ask, have you made any samples of thorium oxide pellets with other mixed uh, components within, within the ceramic? Uh, no, we have no sterling equipment, so we can't uh, do this uh, experiment. Uh, 